think it's uh, driven by standing up to China per se or driven by external factors with China. Uh, to me, it seems that there's been uh, this change in the Kazakhstan uh, government position is driven internally by um, uh, domestic and social movements. So that really what we saw the Sawat Bai case um, a couple of years ago, I think made too much noise um, in the international media. Yeah, and the and domestic social discontent in in Italy. And uh, for them, they've traveled in uh, Almaty, but for them, it's a Russian city and it's a foreign city. And so the, the language barrier uh, for them in particular uh, uh, prohibits them conceiving of uh, Kazakhstan as being a place of home, um, that Ili is their home and Almaty is not. And uh, I think we've, we've seen this a lot with the, the Oralman returnees, uh, mostly settling in South Kazakhstan and Zambil, um, uh, more heavily uh, Kazakh speaking areas um, where they're less disadvantaged for not speaking Russian. I think from the Kazakhstan side, uh, then maybe uh, we start to see that China is not as economically powerful as um, as the Belt and Road narrative might have uh, suggested, uh, which means again that Kazakhstan might need to be thinking about European Union and Russia and China uh, rather than um, expecting the, the China geo-economic boom to happen.